What's up guys? I'm currently recording on my phone. I'm charging my GoPro right now, featuring uh, that dude in blue right now, one of my one of my go-tos when it comes to car channels. But um right now I'm going to meet up with Gerb. Uh, we're meeting at Home Depot. We're gonna get some special heat plumber wrap for our intakes. We both actually have short rams in our uh, in our SIs. He has, I believe, a I'm actually not sure what kind of intake he has. I know he's got a short ram. I have a in-gen short ram intake, so we're gonna wrap them up and uh, it's gonna keep the intake temperatures down. Uh, so hopefully it'll keep our engine nice and cool. But uh, anyways, guys, um, I'll update you guys when I uh, meet up with Gerb and hopefully the GoPro will be all charged up by then. So, uh, these guys. What's up guys? So me and Gerb, we're here at Home Depot. just have to convert from the engine to the to the global flex intake if you know what I mean this thing's pretty pretty thick wait so we're looking for the tape right now the the plumber's tape and um, can't really seem to find it dude it looks like bro it's like this Billy it's like this right here man see this material on there we uh, just need the roll of this dude okay so it's flexible like dog. Okay, so uh, we're on a little adventure right now. We've been looking around for a while. Um, everyone here is telling us that they don't have it. <laughs> we found something kind of similar. It's it's literally it's all the insulation, yeah, dude. It's literally it, but it has all the insulation in there. And like in order to take all this stuff, you're gonna be oh. itchy as yeah, hell. Yeah. So all we need, dude. All we need is that foil right there. So if this package didn't have the insulation, dude. It'd be golden so we need to try to find just this foil that's exactly what we need and we're having like the hardest time yeah to find that dude, so. called i called pet boys and uh <laughs> yeah. they didn't have it then i tried napa and they literally told me to come to home depot so we're just gonna keep looking Is this the culprit? This is like two inch wide, dude. I don't know if we want this wide. That's the thing. This would work. Mm. That's the final, the final stretch. You good? Shout out the homie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to right, Two Chain. Well, <laughs> time to call the time man. to call the specialist. Yeah, time to call the specialist. <laughs> really, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that. It's a, it comes in a roll. Like I don't think it's gonna be in plumbing. The yeah, tape's great. Still got the tape. It's great. It's strong. Just as can't hell. seem to comprehend, but. Which R rating yeah, we we're want. not sure which R rating to get. Um, I mean, we're leaning towards the 6.7. The higher the R value, the greater the... <laughs> Insolent power. Insulating power. Yeah, Why do I... Worst that can happen, dude. Just take uh, it off if we have to. Our car will catch on fire. Hopefully, nothing catches on fire. Finally. Pop 
Pop the hood, bro. Yo, what you got under the hood, dog? <laughs> picture real quick before we get started so i took a picture of my intake air temperatures when on my last drive and that was at about 75 degrees fahrenheit so the highest that they've went on a hotter day was like 120 125 which is insane so we're gonna go ahead and get this insulation and everything on this first and then we can do billy's car it's gonna work, Bill. do you think it's gonna work man do you think it's gonna work or what gonna wrap it in insulation wrap it in insulation yeah. a special multi-purpose tape and i'm gonna see if this will those two things will pretty much uh decrease the temperature of the air that's flowing into my manifold yeah, it it's yeah exactly oh. dude I'm, I'm, all right guys daddy, today daddy can you help me get my intake today on? we're about to show you how to how to remove a short ram intake 101 right, Bill. what do you do. start off doing uh i think we got to get these clips off yup that's a start clip. dude so uh, what do we what do we get we grab the wrench right oh yeah pliers boy yeah. Then we have another one right here, dude. So it's time to get the insulation and the foil tape onto the intakes. right in front of Home Depot. Okay, so we're finally getting the ball rolling a little bit. Got a little strip cut up. Uh, we're gonna do it in sections because all these pieces sticking out. Dude, I was gonna do double wrap just because it said if you, um, dude, this is the ghetto. If you compress it too much, it'll catch on fire. But um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm just gonna. I'm just, so I'm gonna go with the single wrap. See how that works. I don't really know. Don't really know what the hell I'm doing right now. But yeah, just kind of winging it. Just kind of go with yeah. the flow. The lights are on in the Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> we still out here wrenching. We still out here wrenching. Another car driving by, we out here, boy! Go around these pipes. You about to be itching later, dog. You about to be itching, itching. Right. Well, at this point, pretty much all the daylight is gone. My back is killing me from sitting right here this whole entire time. And um, she's coming out pretty good. Um, pretty much got, I think I got all the insulin that I need on of, on her. And uh, just oh, gotta yeah. finish up taping, gotta finish up bordering it. And we should be good to put her on and, and test her out. See how, how you doing over here, Gerb? Well, Gerb's trying his best here. I mean, all it's right. a little tricky. I still gotta clean up a bunch Definitely of stuff. Definitely a little tricky. When I uh, when I taped it, I tried to kind of tuck in the insulin underneath the tape. It's a good idea to so get like, it, so yeah. to get it like yep. uh, compressed. To more. get it nice and compressed, like kind of tuck it in like that, and then keep tucking. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I gotta fix a few things. All right, so me and Gerber both finished with our intakes. He is currently installing his. I'm trying to get this thing in, dude. I got this pipe in the way here. I'm just gonna fold that back, set that in. Brought to test out the functionality of it. Dude, oh my god, that thing looks huge. What are you thinking? Thinking it's either gonna work or it's not, dude. I, yeah. I, I'm confident, 
I guess I guess we'll see. I'm just gonna say that we'll see exactly what happens. Later. Um, another thing is our style's a little different. His is more loose than mine is. Yeah, mine's dude, mine pretty mine tight. <laughs> Flyers right there. Yeah, sure. So guys, um, we got the intake installed. Got it on there. Looks a little, looks a little rough. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's on there pretty tight. We're just waiting on Gerb to get his finished up, and then we're gonna go for a little test drive. Get it all test out. See what the temp is reading. We got everything on our cars. It's it looks crazy. Um, we're gonna link up again tomorrow because um, it's getting a little late. So tomorrow we're gonna link up. We're gonna plug everything into his Honda out of the Flash Pro. We're gonna see uh, if the temps got lowered and uh, we'll get that information back to you guys. And then by then, maybe you guys, uh, if it works out for us and you guys could do it uh, to your cars, it was literally only a, a $15 mod between the both of us. So like for one person, it's literally like a five, like it's like a $10 mod to your intake and it's relatively quick and easy to do. <clears throat> Back at it again, boys. Going inside of Starbucks right now to meet Gerb. He's already in there. We're gonna exchange some footage and uh, maybe test out the intakes a little bit more. Get back to you guys. Hey guys, so after talking with Gerb, um, we've decided that we're gonna make a second video and that is going to fully explain um, how this whole experiment went down and uh, what the results were because um, we did test it out a little bit, but the temperatures aren't exactly the same from the day we filmed before we had the insulation on our intakes. So we're gonna wait for a day where it gets hotter out and we could actually like really test it. But um, so far we got a reading of 98, um, which was like 10, like 10, 15 degrees, no, it was like 15, 16 degrees lower than what it started with before the insulation. We're not sure if that's really accurate just because of the fact that the temperatures weren't the same. So we're gonna wait for a day where the temperatures match up better and um, we're gonna record that and uh, make a video out of that. So um, stay tuned guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.